What's going on guys, Marty, welcome guys back to another Minecraft Top 3 Seeds of the Week. So today guys, I have a very nice seed if you want to start off a new map on the 1.7 Plus. So, first of all, you actually spawn around this area here and uh, this seed, it's pretty awesome because straight away you can uh, turn back. So if you're playing survival, you spawn around this area here, around this beach in here. And then if you actually turn to the right and then you keep going straight down, you're going to find a nice small pond in here. And then if you come to this block here and dig down or we can just go down through this bit here which i've kind of prepared you're gonna end up in a skeleton um spawner as you can see very nice let me get actually some torches i should have prepared more for this so oh scary sounds all right so you come down here straight away you have a very nice start we have some iron you have of course a skeleton mob spawner which one of my favorite spawners in minecraft because you can get a ton of things like bones bows and arrows and on top of that if you turn this into like an xp farm you can get a ton of xp which is really good and on top of that yes you have two nice lovely chests in here one of them contain two discs uh let me just put this away uh a saddle some food and a bucket which is really good to start going mining and get some water and all that stuff so you could just turn off all those annoying lava and then here you have one more record you have of course a nice gold horse armor and you have your string another bucket redstone and some wheat to make yourself another uh, bread so if you go back up after you finish you've done your exploring took all that monster stone or whatever uh, you go back up you pretty much prepared you've got some iron you could pick up the one down there as well make yourself a nice pickaxe or an axe whatever you want to do with it and then come straight in here and look at that you are surrounded by a ton of horses you can pretty much just go ahead and uh, try to tame one of those horses you've got the saddle and you've got the armor uh, to go on it which is this one here so yeah you've got all of it ready uh, you can just get yourself a horse or you can get yourself a mule look at that you can even breed those horses and mules especially the mules because there's about four of them here uh, sometimes it's kind of rare to find you know more than one uh, together uh, more than one mule together so it's really good when you actually find a big bunch like that so straight away you can probably tame one of them and then maybe you can grab another try to tie him into a fence or whatever and look at that on the other side here we have a very very nice large savanna biome so for those as i said who want to play on the 1.7 uh, plus you need some new biomes you want to kind of explore all of those new biomes get all of those new woods and all that so straight away you're spawning down there on the beach you have a very good uh, mob spawner down there which you can get straight away all your goods and then you can start going around and exploring and on top of that you've got a pumpkin down there i don't know if you can see it and a few more pumpkins in here so it's one heck of a super Super freaking large savanna biome and this is just on a normal uh, size biome this is not like on a large biome so it's massive so if you want to build your house you could just probably build it in this new biome just landscaped area here there's only quite a few trees that you have to kind of remove because it, pretty much it's all flat so just remove some of those trees and then start building around this area here and uh, yes of course you've got those pumpkins which you can take as well turn into some delicious pumpkin pies and this is one of the largest savanna biomes that I have ever seen as well it's massive so have you guys enjoyed the first seed let's move now into the second seed so the second seed for this week guys is another 1.7 epic seed and as well is going to contain something very awesome which many of you guys spent hours and days and months looking for which i'm going to show you hopefully in a few seconds anyway first of all you actually spawn on top of this sort of little hill in here uh, facing a massive uh, sort of mountain and this is not an amplified ward so this is just a standard default ward generation and you end up with this uh, massive mountain which is really cool to have it just in normal now minecraft and on top of that you've got this sort of very nice looking savannah biome right in front of you which kind of goes all the way around these massive mountains and uh, behind you you have this sort of like a roof to top uh, forest and on your uh, left when you actually turn back on your left you have this sort of like mega tiger biome and on top of that you've got ton of horses you've got one ravine here and you've got another ravine just going through this biome here which is really epic so two Two massive ravines you've got right next to you that are packed with ores and on top of that guys and the reason why we are in this biome this seed is because i'm going to actually show you the next most asked for seed which is their watermelon seeds so so i'm going to actually just tp myself there and then i'll show you the xyz so here we go all right so you actually uh you need to come to this area here so i'm going to show you the xyz uh by hitting f3 so if you look at the screen right now so you need to come to 
to minus 22. Uh, ignore the Y because I'm going to go down. And then Z690. So when you get to this point here, just fall down all the way into this sort of very deep ocean so you have to be very careful uh not to kind of run out of oxygen or whatever you want to call it in minecraft so keep going down all the way until you hit the ground dig down two blocks and you're gonna find this wooden plank just break it and then after you go down you're gonna find this really amazing chest let me just kind of close the water behind me quickly first so make sure as well you close this because otherwise you're gonna keep getting pushed back so close this with any block you like and then look at this Yes, a chest. If you open this chest, look what you're going to find. You're going to find an enchanted book, Feather Falling 4. You're going to find some seeds. And what we're here for are the watermelon seeds. Yes, two watermelon seeds, which usually takes forever to find. So in this seed, you're going to almost find them immediately by following the X, Y, Z, which I just gave you, or mainly the X, Z, I suppose. You get to this point and then just fall all the way down. So after you found your melon seeds, make sure to go home and you place them somewhere safe because it's super freaking hard to find melon seeds in minecraft let's move now into the next seed so the final seed for this week guys is another epic 1.7 plus seed and this one is super freaking epic because i have never ever seen the same size as this disco biome because this disco biome is massive it's like five disco biomes connected together i'm gonna show you in a bit the sheer size of this disco biome is is unbelievable it's massive on top of that i'm gonna show you quick two mob spawners and then we're gonna have a look i mean look at that you spawn in here and look at this they are massive this is probably the largest disco biome that you're ever going to see in minecraft so down here so you spawn down this area there and then if you just turn right climb up the mountain and then keep going straight i'm going to show you the xyz when i get here you're going to find a very nice mob spawner so uh first of all i need to give you the xyz actually ignore the y because you have to dig all the way down until you fall down into uh, the mob spawner so uh, the x is minus 190 and the z is minus 61 so let's go down as you can see look at that it's really epic when you're actually going down the amazing colors of these new uh, blocks is just really amazing i suppose so in here we have a very nice sort of like zombie spawner and two chests so this one here has got some music discs uh some food some wheat and gunpowder and one redstone but look at this one yes we have a name tag we have a golden horse armor we have more gunpowder and more iron ingots which is really good to start making some real powerful tools straight away from the beginning without having having to work so hard to find iron and all that stuff so i mean it's kind of you know easy to find iron but it's always fun when you actually find them all smelted and ready for you to kind of use turn them into a good tools to use in minecraft so this is like the first mob spawner there's another one not too far away so uh you actually spawn in around this area here you turn right and then you come to this mob spawner and then right behind this uh, spawner it's going in an angle we're going to find another mob spawner not too far away from it it's just around this area here here, here it is okay so as well i'm going to show you the xyz quickly for this one and the x is minus 228 uh ignore the y z is minus 150 so it's very close to the other one and then all you have to do is just dig all your way down until you get into the mob spawner and look at that straight away as we're going to find a good uh you know horse saddle or a pig saddle whatever you want to call it or just a saddle i suppose we have here a skeleton spawner and look at this one here we have another saddle uh more bread and as well or more wheat so we need done from these uh, mob spawners and hopefully you've turned some of them into a nice xp farm uh, you can go away with a good you know horse armor with some ironing it which you can turn into tools straight away and of course you've got yourself some saddles so all you have to do now is find a horse uh, so you can just ride it and move around faster in minecraft which is the best way now is uh, to kind of use in minecraft to move around faster so uh this biome as i said from the beginning of this seed it's a massive i actually went around it and i couldn't just finish from it it was just huge massive mountain so i think you need to kind of explore this biome yourself because the sheer size of this biome is just crazy same as the one which i just showed you in the first seed so two epic seeds uh two massive biomes which i don't think they were meant to kind of spawn in just a normal uh just a war generation i suppose because this is not a larger biome generation so it's kind of unique to find one super freaking larger biome in a normal war generation uh which kind of stands out i suppose when you find a massive biome so hope you guys enjoyed this top three seeds of the week it likes very much i appreciate it so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys later take care for now and bye bye
Peace.